do you think of when you think of green? Do you think of leaves or grass? I think of rainbows. So this is an arc, it's drawn arc. Turn your paper on the landscape. This is what we call landscape orientation, remember? And let's draw an arc from corner to corner, all the way up to the top. When I think of rainbows, of course, the rainbows come after the rain, and the rain brings green grass, green leaves, flowers, springtime. So we're going to do some parallel arcs. We learned about parallel lines, and so now we're going to make an arc, parallel arcs. And a rainbow has seven colors in it. We want to be able to color all of those colors, so we need to draw how many lines to make seven sections? So right now we have five lines and I have one, two, three, four sections. Let's do our sixth line, seven, and eight lines should give us seven sections. Let's double check on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Now we can color them at the, with a rainbow. So on this end of the rainbow, we're going to make some puffy clouds to kind of finish it off. And on this side of the rainbow, hmm, what's on the other side of the rainbow? How about one of these? So let's draw an oval. Now we're going to draw the lowest part of a circle. So we're going to draw the lower part of the circle like that. And inside, let's put some circles. And what of course are these? The gold coins. Notice how some of my circles intersect the back side of the pot, what looks like the back side of this little pot of gold. So we're going to erase that line that goes through the circle because these circles are not, gold is not transparent, you can't see through it. And neither is the pot. So some of the gold is down in the pot, so we're going to create the illusion by not finishing off the bottom part of this circle. We'll just stop it right there, like it's inside the pot. Like that. I'm going to put one on top here. And you can't see very much of it because this piece of gold is behind the others. You can fill it up with gold. What else is under a rainbow? When I was growing up, we had a swimming pool in a park, and it was our neighborhood pool, and we would spend pretty much every day, all day long, every um, each summer, at the pool. And after we were done swimming, we'd go out to the park, and they had this big meadow filled with clover. And we were always looking for a four-leaf clover. Of course, clover grows with three leaves, looks like that. But this is a rainbow, and this is a pot of gold. So we're going to put a four-leaf clover. So let's do four circles. And the way I make it look like a piece of clover is I erase the center section, which is why it's very good for us to sketch our lines. Remember, the first two lines we sketch lightly, so we can erase them. Put a dot in the middle, and draw lines to meet that dot. stem, and it is the leaf, so we don't need a leaf on it. Let's draw another one. Circle, 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 
Let's erase the lines in the middle, put a dot there, and make the lines connected. And then let's give it a stem. How about another one? Four circles. This is a field of four leaf clovers. I think we should just do that. We should just fill it up with four leaf clovers. So let's draw a few more and you can keep drawing as many clovers as you would like. The dot, connect the lines, and then give it a stem. There's something else underneath this rainbow. Now, when I was collect looking in that field when I was a little girl, I think I found some four-leaf clovers. I almost, I'm almost sure of it. But one thing I never saw was one of these. So let's draw a circle, about like that. And now we're going to draw, let's start with this part, a long rectangle. You've seen that before. And we're going to draw one of these hats. It's not quite a square up there. It actually would be considered a trapezoid because this is a little wider. And right in the middle, let's put a square and another square inside of it. And now, you know what that is. Let's give this little guy a beard. So we're going to put another arc upside down from the rainbow arc. But that's going to be his beard. He needs a little nose. And he needs some eyes. And remember how we make the eyes? We put circle inside of a circle. And then we leave a little light spot on it just so that it's shiny. And a mouth. But he also needs a shirt and the rest of him. So let's do that too. Let's make his arms stick out from the beard. Little rectangles and then a little body. And then let's make his legs come out like this. Can you do that? Okay. Now let's make his shoes. We're going to do them in two steps. We're going to draw an oval. That's part of the shoe, but since he is a leprechaun, we are going to draw a little point on the shoe. So I put a little triangle right there, and now I'm going to take my eraser, and I'm going to erase the little part of the triangle so he has a pointy shoe. Can you do that? Okay, you could put buckles on his shoe. How about a buckle? Let's do, let's put some buckles on his shoe. Let's put a square and a square inside that one. Let's do another square and a little square inside. Now he has buckles on his shoe. And of course he needs hands. And my favorite way to make hands is to make a little bump and then a bigger bump. Like that. A little bump and a bigger bump. And he needs some hair. Give him some hair, but he also needs some ears. And we all know that leprechaun's ears are a little big. And they can be a little pointy too if you want them to. Okay. So let's fill up our field with lucky four leaf clovers. So I have seen a four-leaf clover, I believe, but I've never seen a leprechaun. And I can't say I've ever seen a pot of gold. Although, when we were in Montana, when I was raising my children in Montana, we drove by a, a small meadow. It was on East River Road, which means it was on the east side of the river, the Yellowstone River. And it was this small field that was bordered by the road on one side and trees on the other side. And it had just rained, and lo and behold, there was a rainbow in the field. It literally came down, and it stopped in the middle of that field. It was the end of the rainbow. So we thought, for sure, this is our lucky day. So we all got out of the car, and we ran over to where the end of the rainbow met, came down into the field, and guess what? The end of the rainbow moved on us. So we ran over to the new 
location and every time we ran to get the pot of gold, the rainbow moved on us. So we were never able to find the pot of gold, but we saw this beautiful rainbow. So let's fill up our page with four leaf clovers and take your markers at, or colored pencils or crayons, I love crayons, and let's go ahead and color that. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. 